We are in London now with uh, Dick Tisham. Uh, now there is a demonstration against uh, Israel uh, to support Palestine. What's uh, your purpose? What do you want to tell people about uh, what's happening now in uh, Palestine? Okay, first of all, um, we've been here for about 13 years every single Thursday. Uh, we have called this group Victory to the Intifada. We stand with the people of Palestine and we stand with their right to resist occupation, to resist oppression. Uh, we are here to make the links between British imperialism and the occupation of Palestine. And this is a British business that from its beginning has supported um, the Zionist expansion of Israel. And so we want to highlight this and use it as a tool to speak to people on the streets about Palestine. Yeah? Because what, how we understand the struggle in Palestine is a righteous struggle that um, means something all around the world. Yeah? All around the world people know about the struggle of the Palestinians and it's for a good reason. It's because they are heroic. And we will also look to all other peoples that are resisting oppression, resisting occupation. We make the point of not just talking about how bad Israel is, but saying that without Britain, Israel would not be the Zionist entity that it is today. We understand that Britain bombed Libya, Britain bombed Afghanistan, Iraq, it bombed Syria. Yeah, it, wa it wants to destroy the Middle East. Yeah. So we understand Britain's role, not just in the Middle East, but globally. What's your opinion about ISIS? I don't know what my opinion can be, because what all I know is formulated by what the mass media and the mainstream media are saying about it. All I understand is that the, the, the madness, the murder that is happening all across the Middle East, Britain is responsible for. Yeah? I'm living in Britain. It's my role to highlight the relationship that Britain has in causing this mess. Yeah? Where we can understand that destabilization and terror in the Middle East goes very well with Britain's ambitions in the Middle East. Yeah? Come on, Libya got destroyed. Yeah? Libya was destroyed by NATO forces. Yeah? Yeah? Like, these are the forces that we have to concentrate on. They can talk about whoever group this and that. Let's not forget yeah, that the Mujahideen, and the Taliban was supported by imperialism, yeah, against the Afghan government, yeah. Remember, they were trained by them, yeah. So we have to understand these relationships and bring it back down to where we are here today. We are in Britain, imperialist Britain, yeah. Britain has an interest in destabilizing the whole world and extracting wealth from the whole world, and it's not fair, yeah. So we have to do something. Anne is a supporter of a revolutionary communist group in London. You are demonstrating to support Palestine and Intifada. Why? We are directing our um, protests against British support for the Zionist State of Israel. That is why we are asking for a boycott of Marks and Spencer and all trade, sporting, cultural links between Britain and Israel. Uh, Britain, of course, has a historic role in the Middle East and is the founder of the State of Israel through the Balfour Declaration. And uh, we find the British governments, one after another, all of them culpable uh, for uh, funding, uh, sending funds and for ideologically supporting Zionism. What's your opinion about uh, Syria? You think the uh, UK should uh, intervene in Syria or what? And uh, uh, this is a, a, a imp uh, the simple principle is no intervention, no occupation by imperialists in uh, the Middle East. Uh, that is our position. Full stop. The same with Libya, the same with Yemen, same with Iran, Iraq, all of it. No intervention. We will leave the Syrian people to decide their own future democratically. We don't take sides.